Hello and welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where today on Solar Eclipse Day we are going to be having a look at a new puzzle from none other than Mr. Menace, one of my favourite constructors and somebody I don't think I've done a puzzle by Mr. Menace, on the channel at least, for for some months, which is completely remiss of me. It's called The Corners Are Even Zipper Lines and the eagle-eyed amongst you will see immediately that there is not much prospect of a three in the corner today, and therefore there won't be any singing from me. Probably many will rejoice. Um, but I will read you the rules to this one in a moment or two's time. It's got three stars out of five for difficulty over on Logic Masters, and a whole plethora of very, very nice comments. So I've no doubt it will be rather brilliant. Um, now, do I have any news for you? Uh, over on Patreon, there is a whole boatload of extra content at the moment. There are solution videos a go-go for last month's competition. There's our current competition uh, for April, which is, of course, the James Bond uh, themed Sudoku hunt. I think we've, well, I think we're heading on for about, uh, what's it? It's about 400 correct entries we've received so far, um, and the feedback's been great. So you're enjoying the puzzles, and apparently it's a little bit easier than last month's. So um, if you haven't started it yet, plenty of time left. Uh, the closing date is the 20th. Um, there's also uh, extra solving videos where I tackle very hard puzzles. There's Mark's one-up video. There's my Islands of Insight um, playthroughs. So lots of stuff over there. Um, and the other thing I need to do today, though, is do some birthdays. So let's do that before we get cracking. Um, Erica, over there in the US, oh, so you might see, you might see the solar eclipse today. Uh, your husband, Gene, wrote to us um, and told us that you, you're not a massive fan of the channel, but you do, you do peek at it over his shoulder when he's solving. So Erica, I hope you have a great birthday today. Uh, with chocolate cake, of course. Um, next, Cat, who's turned a secret age minus a decade. Um, your husband, Ben, wrote to us and said that you enjoy the channel and would like a shout out. And apparently you are having chocolate cake during the eclipse today. So, Cat, many happy returns. Um, next, Sarah, who's turned the secret age plus a decade, um, is having apple strudel today rather than chocolate cake. Well, I have I have to say, if I couldn't have chocolate cake and I couldn't have pancakes, apple strudel would be very delicious. Um, oh, and to answer your question, Sarah, I don't think our apps are available on Amazon Fire. So it's just on Android, on um, Steam and on the App Store. I'm sorry about that. Um, next, Harry. It's your birthday today, and I know this because your girlfriend Rachel wrote to us uh, and said that if you're having chocolate cake, you prefer it to be chocolate ice cream cake. Well, that, that sounds fine. That sounds very delicious. Um, and uh, I, I think I need to thank you, Harry, for introducing Rachel to Sudoku and spreading the word about these variant puzzles and how wonderful they are. So, Harry, happy birthday. And then finally, Peter. Peter, over there in Sweden, you have turned 20 today. And I know this because your best friend Axel wrote to us and said you'd appreciate a shout out, that you've been following the channel for a long time and that you were converting people right, left and centre um, to cracking the cryptic. So thank you for doing that. I think you converted Axel and also your girlfriend at least. So Peter, doing very fine puzzling work. Many happy returns. And with that, Let's actually do some puzzle solving and I will I will read you the rules to the corners are even zipper lines by Mr. Menace. The rules are as follows. Normal Sudoku rules apply and that means we've got to put the digits one to nine once each in every row, in every column and in every three by three box. Um, cells with grey squares contain even digits. So we actually there are actually only four of them, but they are in the corners. <laughs> so those digits are even. Um, on the purple lines, any two cells an equal distance from their centre cell must sum to the digit in that centre cell. So imagine this was uh, 8. If this was 8, these two digits would have to add to 8. These two digits would have to add to 8. These two digits would have to add to 8. And those two digits would have to add to 8. Um, and that's how zipper lines work. Do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. But now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Now, I don't know many secrets about zipper lines. I know. 
I know that if you put nine on a zipper line, it it has to go, it has to go in the circled center. Because and that's obvious. I mean, if you put nine there, you're adding this number to nine to get this digit, and there are no digits in Sudoku higher than nine. So that's one thing. Maverick, Maverick is about to fly past the window. Um, now, so. Now here is a knowledge bomb for you. Nine is not an even digit. So where is nine in column one is one question that seems reasonable. And the answer is it's either in the very center of the zipper or it's there. And that is not useful. I don't think that's useful. Um, in, hmm, and the same must be there's quite, yeah, there is a bit of symmetry in this puzzle isn't there this row the this column us and and the sort of tuning fork shape zipper in fact it's yeah if we were to draw a line just let me do this for a moment just humor me if i draw a line down that diagonal and we we sort of imagine the, the puzzle folding in on itself. There's obviously di some some given digits that are effect that are not symmetrical. Well, well, it might not be symmetrical, and the central zipper is very slightly unsymmetrical. But there's a lot of symmetry. Which suggests to me that Um, suggest to me we're pr to, because constructors tend to like symmetry. I, I believe that when you know when a constructor starts uh, making a puzzle, they will often try to to keep things as symmetrical as possible until sort of the laws of the universe prevent prevent symmetry from working. So. Hmm, how do we do this then? So nine is in one of those two. Nine is in one of those two. But is there a reason that nine can't be? Oh, for goodness sake, Simon. Right, where is... Sorry, and sorry, this has taken me a few minutes and it's totally obvious. Where is nine in box one? Why didn't I see that straight away? Why do, why is my uh, where am I why are my eyes taken to the columns and the rows before looking at the box I do not know but 9 can't go in the middle of a zipper line and 9 is not even so I could just write 9 in there for goodness sake right so now where is 7 in this box and the reason I focus in on 7 straight away is that 2 is not on a zipper and I know that 2 plus 7 equals 9 so if I was to put 7 into any of the zipper cells um, I would need a 2 opposite it. So 7 is in one of those two squares, which means at least one of these zippers has a great big number in the middle of it. Well, no, that's not true. It does have a great big, it has the greatest and biggest number in the middle of it. That's really beautiful. You don't you don't expect that digit to do massive work and yet it's doing some heavy lifting look because imagine that was a seven. Well now we know this digit has to be higher than seven so it has to be eight or nine but it can't be eight because because that would require a one here and this one stops it and that doesn't matter if we switch this round here because this one does exactly the same job yeah it's, it's to do with symmetry around this diagonal this one's still doing a job here in the same way so actually one of those digits oh, this is a terrible terrible pencil mark I'll, I'll, I'll make I'll actually use green one of those digits at least is a nine um, because whichever one of these two squares is a seven is going to have to have a two in one of those squares so there's a restriction <laughs> there's 
So either this is a 9 and this is a 2, or this is a 9 and this is a 2, or perhaps both. Uh, no, 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 not both, because we can't put two 7s into box 1. If, if both of those were 9s, then 9 would go there. Which might matter somehow. Um, here's another thought, actually. Uh, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to with that thought that I've just had. I'm changing the colour for this this potential two digit because there's a parity point, isn't there? Um, imagine this was a nine. Um, then we know these two digits add up to nine and these two digits add up to nine. Now, the only way you can add two digits to get to an odd number is if one of those digits is even and one of those digits is odd. And that means that if this was a nine, there are going to be two, exactly two even digits in those four squares. But there's an even digit there and an even digit there. And that means those two squares would have to be odd because there are only four even digits in Sudoku, two, four, six, and eight. And that's obviously, that logic also applies in the column. So if this was nine, two of those four digits are even and those two digits are odd. Right. Right, so that is interesting, actually. That is interesting because we can go back to the very first point I thought of now. I think. Right, so now, um, in row one, oh, this is very hard, <laughs> this is very difficult because we have to sort of keep flexibility about what's going on with with nines and twos but imagine this was nine in this column one question that we were thinking about right at the start is where is nine and we noticed that nine was either here or here well if this is nine i don't think this can be nine as well now because and it's not to do with where nine goes in box five that's legitimate it's to do with parity on this line because and let's show you if that's nine we know this is odd so if this was nine we'd know this was odd and that cannot be true because two odd numbers do not add up to nine so if which oh hang on which whichever one of these is 9 is going to plonk an odd digit onto the tip of the tuning fork which is going to necessitate an even digit on the other side of the tuning fork oh this is complicated right it's three stars this puzzle that feels that already feels mad to me this is this is complex it's fa absolutely fascinating don't get me wrong but these this is this is complicated i think okay S especially as we don't know which way round this maybe ah maybe that's what i've missed maybe there's a way that we can do i know what that is somehow or that. I know that's not nine. Yeah, so actually we might as well pencil mark that because these two squares are a minimum of two plus three. So this is at least five. Um, but it can't be nine because I know one of the green cells is nine. So that's five, six, seven or eight. this one 
Yeah, this one is seven, eight or not. Oh, no, it's not. Ah, ah, okay. Sorry, I'm going to come back to that very complicated thing I'd seen up there. I'm going to go, I'm going to see if I can get to that complicated deduction by a, sim by a simple, simpler method. Um, this box, what is the value of this digit? Now, I don't know the answer to this, but the minimum value of those squares, because they can't include one, those four digits are a minimum of two, three, four, and five. Now, two, three, four, and five sum to 14. And that rep if we think of this, this line algebraically, we know those two squares add up to x. Let's make this, we can probably make that an x, actually. Ah, uh, there. Let's say this is x. We know those two squares add up to x, don't we? And these two squares add up to x. So if I know that the minimum value of those squares is 14, and that's two lots of x, that means this square is at least equal to 7. But it's not 7, so that square is 8 or 9. Now, um, I have no idea what to do with that. <laughs> um, can we prove that's not? eight because if it's eight there are only three different ways of making eight with sudoku pairs that if you can't have double four so there's one seven which is ruled out so this would be this line would have to be made up of two six and three and five and that would have to be a four in the corner nine would be in one of those two squares uh, I'm not sure and if that's nine presumably it's very straightforward because we've got there are four different ways of making nine um, with different Sudoku numbers four five three six two seven and one eight so the only one that's ruled out is one eight so eight would number eight could be in three places Uh, bobbins. Okay, so am I going to have to do this then up here? Yeah, let, let me show you um, what I was thinking. Right, so we worked out that both green cells couldn't be nine. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to do this by showing you because it's going to be easier, I think. Imagine this was nine. We don't know which of these is nine. We know exactly one of them is nine, though, because if they were both nine, the tuning fork has two odd digits on the end of it. So if this is nine, this is 9 in column 1, because this can't be. Now, we know, because this is an odd digit, let's use orange for odd, this is an even digit. That's forced. So have a look at the parity now of this column. So this is what I noticed before. I've got one even digit here, I've got one even digit here, and I've got one even digit here. That's three even digits. So how could I possibly... I've only got one more even digit to play with. Um, and, well, hopefully you, you can see what the problem is there. Well, it's not a problem. It's totally possible, but, th but that would have to be even. Because, because um, if, I put, if I make the fourth even digit here, then we know that this is an odd total because everything else in this column is now odd. But now we're adding two odd digits to get to this at the same time as it, ha as it having to be odd. And two odd digits sum to even. That's just not going to work. So what, what, what I'm saying is that... What I'm saying is that which... Let's go back now to here. Whichever one of these is nine, the other one is even. Now, <laughs> uh, can I do any better than that? Can we, we must be able to rule out, it can't be two or four, can it? So the question is, is it six or eight? If it's six, that would be quite cool, wouldn't it? Let's just, yeah, let's just analyze that. If it's six, the reason I think that would be interesting 
is that now those squares have to be 1, 5 and 2, 4 because you can't put double 3 into, into a single column of the Sudoku. Oh, that's, well, hmm. Well, that's interesting. If it is 6, this, this would have to be the 6, I think. I might be wrong about that, but what I'm noticing is if this was 6, where do I put 7 in this column? Remembering this is 9 in this paradigm. It couldn't be 7 anyway, but 7 obviously can't go on a zipper that adds up to 6. And it can't go on the, there, and it, it, there would be nowhere for 7. Now if, if on the other hand... Is that logic? No. Oh no, it is... Oh, that's it. No, that's it. That's it. I don't have to worry about that. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, does it? Because the point is... That's beautiful. Good grief. Right. Uh, the, the point here is, imagine this was 6. Or this is 6. It doesn't matter. The question is, where is 7 in that column? Bearing in mind that because this in this paradigm, the 9 is on the other zipper, the 9 in this column has to go here. So the question... And because... Because... Uh, this is also, this is so complicated. It's so ridiculously complicated. And remember that nine partnered up with the two, didn't it, in the purple, and had the seven there. So you could, in this column, there's just nowhere for seven. You can't put it anywhere. It cannot exist. This is this is very very. It's a wonderful puzzle. This because this logic is so unusual. So so now. Uh, and let, let me just show you it's going to be the same the other way around. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure you've all followed that. But if this was 9, we know this is 2. We know this is 7. Now, this is even. We know that for sure. And if it was 6, where do we put 7 in this row? Bearing in mind that's 9. You always have to bear in mind that because we have to put 9 in this row. It can't go here because that's going to put two odd, two odd digits on the end of the tuning fork. So so this is this is still not able to be 6. So... In fact, let's step up, step back again. We now know that the double, well, now these need to be different colors because they are different. And what's more, actually I shouldn't use blue because blue's my color for evens. I'll use uh, yellow. Um, I now know these are a nine, eight pair because I know Yeah, that is right, isn't it? Because for exactly the same reason. Well, actually, I, I have there. There is a lacuna in that logic, which I've glossed over. So I dealt with what happened if we did double nine there, and you may say, okay. What you didn't deal with, Simon, is what would happen if this was, say, a 9 here and then a 7 here. But that's exactly the same point. Um, because the, the, the point is that to make 7, you have to use two even digits in those four squares. And that's going to be odd again. And you're still going to have two odds on the end of the tuning fork. So it is legitimate um, to just focus on evens. And these have to be now a 9-8 pair. And now that's not even in the middle of the grid. So that's got to be 5, 6 or 7. Because these are different. Like, so because these are different, this can't be 9 or 8. So I know... I, I almost want to now pencil mark that one of those is a 2. Now. Uh, 
Oh, no. Right, this is... Now, I've missed a point here. I've missed something much simpler. Right. So, do you remember we worked out that there's a 9 in one of these? Now, we worked out whichever one of these is not 9, in this row or this column, there is a 9 in one of those two squares. And, and therefore... That could never be a 9. That's always been an 8. So now... Oh, this is... Oh, that's annoying that I missed that. But this is a much... This is probably going to make some of this hard logic unnecessary. So now we can't use 1, 7 on this zipper. So these are 2, 6 and 3, 5. There's a 3 here. So there must be a 3 now horizontally in this row. And there must be a 5 vertically. Because if this is 3, that's 5. If this is 3, that's 5. To make sure they add up to 8. So that means these are not 5. And more to the point, what are these digits? 4 is one of them. Oh. Well, yeah, okay. 4, 7 and 9. It's what, what's left over. So 4 must go in the corner because it is even. And this is a 7, 9 pair. And now that digit and that digit are now 2, 6 and 8. That digit is 4, 6, or 8. But we know it's not 8, because I know one of these is 8. And now... And now... Oh, that's not 7. <laughs> By dint of Sudoku. This has come right down. This is 5 or 6. So... Well, that's quite interesting. Because if this is 5, these two squares have to be a 2-3 pair. If this is 6, these have to be a 2-4 pair. So there's definitely now a 2 in one of these two squares. And they have to be selected from 2, 3 and 4. In fact, the whole the whole of these lines now, because this is a, this is a maximum of 6, the lines must be less than 6. So I'm wondering about doing that. don't like that that's that seems i don't that's so excessive isn't it compared to what we've had to do so far so what do we Sorry, I realise I've stopped talking. I'm just trying to think about whether I know which of these is 8 and which of these is 9. I know one of these is 9. I'm going to have to... I'm just going to, I'm just going to put 9 in there and hope I remember that that's a very dodgy pencil mark. One of these is 2. No, what I was about to say is nonsense. The, so, from a parity perspective, I, yeah, okay, so the 8, if that's 8, it's... Yeah, its zipper is full of all odd digits, isn't it? I think. Yeah, because this is this point again. If this is 8... We're in the world where we needed this digit to be even. So we've got our four even digits are going to be those four digits. So these are all odd. So the odd So the odd ways of adding up to eight are one seven and three five. Feels like it's almost interesting. One seven and three five. So the only way mm. but if you put Hang on. It's 
sorry, I'm trying to do this. I don't understand what... <laughs> oh, I can't see how to do it. I can't see there's a restriction there. But, but I mean, I can see there might be restrictions based off the positions of ones, but I don't think there's enough of a restriction. All right, let's try it with the nine then instead. If that's nine, what do we know then? We know this is odd. That's nine. We know this is odd. It would have to be one, three, it can't be seven. It would be one, three or five. So this digit would be 8, 6, or 4, and would be even, which is what we already know. Which is okay, isn't it? Golly gosh, I don't know. Um... I'm also very conscious of the fact that I think it would be it's almost it would almost be an easier puzzle to solve by guessing one orientation here and seeing what happened. I don't want to do that. I really don't. Um, Where's hmm. Whichever one of these is 8, where is the 4 in its column? Because 4 can never go on an 8 zipper, because it would have 4 on the other side of it. So imagine this was 8 again. We know this is 9, don't forget. 4 can't go on the zipper, so 4 would be in one of those two squares. Now if 4 was here, that would be 5 on by the zipper logic in box one but if four was in the corner that's quite interesting if four was in the corner oh i see nah ah that's that's got me something right that's got me something right we have to focus on this digit ah this is beautiful right now the point is that this digit whether it's four or six, it can't have its partner that adds up to nine with it. Can't be on the zipper, can it? So imagine this was four. What that says is that five now is not in those positions. So these would be a five, seven pair. If this is six, these become a three, seven pair because the three and the six would add up to nine. And we couldn't put the three on the zipper if this is six. Now, that means we should certainly pencil mark that. That's the first thing we should do. But the point is now that on the eight line, let's say this was the eight line, we know this isn't we know the seven would be thrown over here to go with the nine that would be here. So this would be a three five adding up to eight, which means that would be a three five adding up to eight. So on the eight line, on the eight line. You now have a three. So these squares are now from two, three and five. And that's a real that's a real genuine pencil mark. If this is eight, um, this has to be a three, five pair. If this is eight, this is a three, five pair. If this is nine, this is a seven, two pair. If this is nine, this is a seven, two pair. And that right. OK, so here's another deduction that falls from that now. One of these squares is now a one. <laughs> and this is for a crazy reason. And that is because whichever one of these is eight has odd digits on its zipper only. But the three and the five are the sort of external digits. So the internal digits have to be a one seven pair. So if this is eight, this is a one seven pair. If this is eight, this is a one seven pair. And in either case, this one flags that digit and sees it forcing a one into one of those two positions, <laughs> which we will certainly pencil mark. I've, I've gone away from my parity ideas. Um, 
So there's definitely a one in one of those. There's definitely, I mean, the corollary of that is there's definitely a seven in one of those, which I suppose we might as well also pencil mark. Now, so that, ah, okay, so here is, oh, I'm not actually sure what I'm about to say is true. Let me just think about that. Well, it's certainly true, slightly, it's slightly true. No, no, it's jolly true. Yes, okay, so now I know what that pair is. That's a one eight pair. And that's because, imagine this was eight. If this is eight, we know this is a seven and this is a one, which means one and eight are looking up this column. There'll be an eight here and a one here. Now, that means that you can't put one or eight here you can we can already see one is on the zipper in box one but this can't be a one or an eight because that would need to be a one or an eight and it can't be and this can't be a one or an eight by sudoku so these squares are a one or an eight because that logic is symmetrical if this is eight this is one and we get exactly the same point going that way so this is a one eight pair so So these digits are either Oh, this is so complicated. Well, I mean they're either four, five, or three, six. I mean, maybe that's something I've got to just pencil mark. Um So if that's six yeah, if that's six, this is three, seven, and this is four, five. And if this is four, this is five, seven, and this is three, six. Ah, oh, that's right. Good grief. Right, another deduction that flows from that. <sighs> Okay, so, so we were thinking about what happened with whichever one of these was 8. I want to change that now and think about whichever one of these is 9. Um, let's imagine this is 9 for a moment, and this is 8. Now, the point here is that we know that this is a 7-2 pair now, and we want to think about what's the nature of these two digits. So we know that there are a pair of digits that add up to 9, that are not seven and two. But these two digits are from different flavors of nine pair that add up to nine. Because if this is four, this is from three, six. And if this is six, this is from four, five. So you can't have this being three, six or four, five because it will break here. So this has to be one, eight if this is nine. But of course it might not be. This could be nine and then that would have to be one, eight. But that's that's still good. That's not, it's not great, but it's still good. Because what that means is that now those two squares are always one. Because I all because if this is nine, this is one eight, and if this is eight, this is one seven. So these two these two squares are a seven eight pair. Sudoku gives me a one here and here by symmetry exactly the same points emerging there that does nothing i don't believe it uh no 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 Is it doing something to this line now? I didn't pencil mark this before, but these have to be quite low and now can't be one. Two, three, four. 
Ah, for goodness sake. This, this puzzle is a work of sublime genius. It is absolute genius. This, this, how is this three stars out of five for difficulty though? This is so, look, this, the quality, the sheer quality of this deduction is, right, let's look at whether this can be five. And the answer is no, it can't be. Because if this is five, all of the digits on this zipper are made up from low digits. Ones, twos, threes, and fours. But these would have to be two, threes, and fours. So everything at the moment looks hunky-dory, doesn't it? It looks like it's completely reasonable. But this is a two, three, four, triple. So those two digits have to be the same, don't they? Because that digit is not repeated in those two squares, but this is also a triple, so these two digits are the same. And what does that mean in terms of the zipper? Well, that means that digit and that digit are the same because they are opposite the same digit on, on the zipper. <laughs> so these, I mean, imagine, imagine this is a four. The, oh no, four's a bad choice. Let's imagine these are a three. If both of these are three, both of those are two. That cannot be true. That, that, I mean, that must be deliberate because that, that's why these lines are a different shape, surely. That's why the symmetry is not, isn't, it's because Mr. Menace has realised a sort of a different trick we can play at the end of the line. That is absolutely beautiful to me. So that's a six. So that means these two squares are a two, four pair. Now, we probably want to see if we can play this game again in a moment. Let me just think about this though. Can I do better than that? I can't see how immediately. Um, well, mm, this is still interesting actually. Because, um, can't I use that? I, I mean, I can use that point, I think, to legitimately say that this is a quadruple, that like patch of digits there. Um, what do I mean by quadruple? Well, I can't repeat a digit within this tetromino of digits because the only digit I could repeat would be these two. And we know that they cannot be repeated because those two digits would be the same on the other side of the zipper and we break Sudoku. So these digits are not the same and therefore all four of these digits are different. So this is a two, three, four, five quadruple, which means the other side of the zipper must contain the digits that are the complements of two, three, four, and five. Which are one, two, three, and four. We might be able to do something with that. That can't be one, that can't be one. Or not. That actually these can't be three because I've got three pencil marked here. So there's a two, four pair here. Well, that's it. Right, that is that is so brilliant. I, I cannot tell you how. Well, if again, I say this sometimes, but I mean it again. If this, if we ever make another book, this needs to go in it because this is this is going to do things as well. This deduction is going to do things. So, so because because those four digits are different, these four digits are different. That must follow, mustn't it? That must follow. Oh, I've got the wrong colour there. I've already used that one colour. I use oh, um. I really have actually run out of colours to use. I could use grey, but it's not brilliant. I'll use grey. Um, because these are four different digits, the complements that add up to six must be four different digits as well. So down here, we must have a one, two, three, and four. This is a two, four pair, apparently. That's 
seems to have fallen out of Sudoku. So these can't include twos and fours. So that gives me a three here and a one here, which means <laughs> it means that square is not three. Now three was the complement of five, I think. Oh well. Uh, oh, hang on. Well, that's now not three either, which means that's not five. Oh, my phone is. Oh, I can't get that. I can't get that at the moment. Um, uh, how do I make a, a message go to? How do I? I don't even know how to do this. Still don't know how to make my phone go to voicemail. Um, right, but hang on, hang on, hang on. Because this being three needs to go with a three to add up to six. This being one needs to go with a five to add up to six. This being three makes that square, that's it. Now we've done it. That square is a seven. So that square is a five. So that square is a three. This is an eight. That's a seven. That's a two. That's a nine. That's a nine. Remembering our earlier logic. This is an eight. Now, does this keep going? Well, that's a one. So that's a one and that's an eight. Oh my goodness. Right. So this we don't know. I don't think. I don't think we ever got to the bottom of that one. We've got, we've got a lot of digits now in this row. That's not eight in the corner. This is not three or five. So this is a four, six pair. So I must know what that is. That's, well, that, that Sudoku tells me that that's a three and three adds up to nine if, if with a six. So that's a four in the corner. Ah. Okay, that's now, oh, this, yeah, that's a six apparently down here. So that's not six on this arrow, which means that's not two. Uh, this square here is a five. And that square there is a two. And somehow or other, <laughs> we have filled in. We have filled in some boxes. Can we keep this going or does it now, do we now have to revisit our thinking? Where's three? Three's there on, on, on this bottom zipper. So that's a five by mathematics. So these are a two six pair now. Let's just tidy up all this pencil marking. See if that helps us with anything. That's a three by Sudoku. Got quite a lot of three-edge in the grid. We can do two threes there, two threes there. We've got five in these two squares. We might have to. Ah. <laughs> right, yes. Okay, so now I'm going to abandon my earlier colouring because it is not helpful for what I'm about to show you. So, we know that this digit is something, let's say red. I'm going to say that digit is now grey because these are clearly different from one another. And that means that this digit is grey. And that means that, remember these are a quadruple, that means this digit is red. And now, where is grey in this box? And the answer is there. And therefore, I've got a 2-4 pair that that's two Cs. So that's four, that's four, that's four, that's two, that's two. Ah, I don't know. This was, okay, I could have done that a different way. Look, I just didn't see the Sudoku down here giving me a six here. That gives me a six here. So I haven't done nine in this row, so I can do that. These squares are four, seven, and eight. Four must go there. This is eight, this is, ah, this is, ah, this is eight, this is seven. 
that's seven, that's nine. Now this digit I ought to be able to do. I'm going to claim it's a two. This is five, eight, nine, which I might not be able to do. That's not eight, that's not five. Um, maybe these, two, four, and six, lots of even digits. That's not two, that's not four, that's not six. <laughs> okay, that's annoying. Um, so these squares look like they're three, five, seven, don't they? So that's five or seven. Three, five or seven, three, five or seven. But the, the good thing is that I think we've, well, that's a nine. Um, we've, we've done, or we've broken the back of the zipper logic. We've done all the zippers. So it should just be Sudoku. I say just, but it should be. Where's one in this row? So that's all fixed. These squares have got to be four, five, and eight. So that's a naked single. These are going to be a five, eight pair. Uh, this column needs five, eight, and nine. Whoops. Five, nine, five, eight, nine. And what now? Maybe this column, seven, eight, nine, nearly. This column, that's five or eight. Oh no, okay, please, please don't be difficult now. I really, really just want to fill you in. Um, two in this column I can do, which gives me this square as a seven. That two look makes that square a six. Six, four, and two go in. Now, can we do, well, yeah, I can get four in this row. And this column, maybe? What is it? Is it five, six, and eight? That's, oh, that's an, that would be good. That would be very good. Is that naked? Yeah, I think that's a naked single five. So five and eight go in. That should be a six. That's a nine. That's an eight. That's not five anymore. This square here is naked. It's three. So that's seven. That's five. That's three. And that's eight. That's five. That's nine. That's eight. That's seven. That's nine. And that is, if we haven't made a mistake, a five. That is so ridiculously clever. Is it right? Yes. 72 people. It's quite a new puzzle. Four days. Wow. Wow. How long did that take me? 53 minutes. Um, that, I mean, I am lost for words. That, it's absolutely beautiful the way that this line and this line work together. I've, in fact, there's so much to admire here. I, I don't know if I did this in, in the sort of intended order. Because I could have got that, I think I could have got that eight more quickly. But I think, I'm not sure at what stage it was, because the only, the point at which this became hugely powerful was once we'd limited, we got the one here, and that was quite late. The only way I got the one there, the only way I got a one there is I worked out that whether this was nine or eight, and whether this was nine or eight, you always had sort of an extreme pair internal to the zipper. So if this was eight, we worked out that was one seven. If this was nine, we worked out it was one eight. And it had to be in that order because of this superb one in the grid. And then that having, well, these having to all be different numbers and those all having to be different numbers. I mean, it's, it's just a beautiful idea. Mr. Menace, take a bow. That is one of the best puzzles I have done in recent months. I absolutely loved it. Let me know in the comments how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.